H2S, also called sour gas, sulfurated hydrogen, or sewer gas, can be found in concentrations ranging from trace amounts, presenting no hazard, to larger amounts, which are immediately dangerous. Hydrogen sulfide forms when two hydrogen atoms combine with one sulfur atom. It's produced as an unwanted byproduct during industrial operations or through bacterial action during the decomposition of organic matter, such as the formation of natural gas and oil. H2S is one of the petroleum industry's leading causes of sudden death in the workplace. So it's a good idea to become very familiar with this potential hazard. Let's look closer at its physical properties. Hydrogen sulfide is a colorless gas. At low concentrations, hydrogen sulfide has a very offensive odor, similar to the smell of rotten eggs. At dangerous concentrations, the odor cannot be detected because H2S deadens the sense of smell. Pure hydrogen sulfide is about 20% heavier than air. Hydrogen sulfide has three times the flammability range of natural gas. Now this means a fire or explosion can occur in the presence of even a very small amount of oxygen. When ignited, H2S produces another toxic gas called sulfur dioxide, or SO2. SO2 is extremely hazardous when inhaled. Hydrogen sulfide is soluble in water and hydrocarbons. But as the temperature increases, it becomes less soluble, and H2S gas may break out of solution. H2S is highly corrosive to metals, so pipe valves and other equipment should be designed for H2S and properly maintained. Iron sulfide scale may be deposited inside piping or vessels where H2S is present. If this scale dries, it can ignite spontaneously when exposed to air. Hydrogen sulfide is absorbed into the body through inhalation or breathing. Its effects and symptoms in humans depends on both the concentration of the gas and the duration of exposure. Now, Once H2S gets into the bloodstream, it prevents the body from using oxygen. Since the brain is supplied with the largest volume of blood, it rapidly receives a large dose of H2S. Now, this creates the immediate, sometimes lethal, danger. When the blood reaches the brain, H2S inhibits the brain from controlling the respiratory system. Consequently, breathing stops and death soon occurs. The threshold limit value for toxic gas is the maximum concentration in air to which it's believed workers may be repeatedly exposed day after day without adverse effects. The permissible exposure limit is the regulatory exposure limit established by OSHA for air contaminants. Concentration of the toxic gas is measured in parts per million, or PPM.